everyone. I, Kinika Saini, faculty of BBA department from Technia Institute of Advanced Studies, is going to deliver a lecture on job enrichment. So what do you mean by job enrichment? The job enrichment is the job design technique used to increase the satisfaction among the employees by delegating higher authority and responsibility to them and thereby enabling them to use their abilities to the fullest. According to BT and Schneider, job enrichment is a motivational technique which emphasizes the need for challenging and interesting work. It suggests that jobs are redesigned so that intrinsic satisfaction is derived from doing the job. This concept is in contrast to the job enlargement which considers the horizontal restructuring where more and more tasks get added and the challenge remains the same. Characteristics of an enriched job. According to Herzberg, an enriched job has eight characteristics. First is direct feedback. There should be a direct feedback on, of the employee's performance. Employees should be able to get immediate knowledge of the results they are achieving. The job evaluation can be inbuilt in the job or provided by a supervisor. Second is client relationships. When an employee serves a client or customer directly, he has an enriched job. The client can be outside the organization or inside. Third is new learning. An enriched job allows the employee to learn more. He should feel that he is growing mentally. An employee who is doing some intellectual work is having an enriched job. Fourth is scheduling own work. Freedom to schedule one's own work contributes to enrichment. Deciding when to tackle which assignment is an example of scheduling. Employees who perform creative work have more opportunity to schedule their assignments as compared to employees performing routine jobs. Fifth is unique experience. An enriched job has some unique qualities or features as compared to the other jobs. Sixth is control over resources. One approach to job enrichment is that each employee should have control over his own resources and expenses. Seventh is direct communication authority. An employee holding the enriched job will be allowed to communicate directly with the people who use his output. Eighth is personal accountability. An enriched job holds the incumbent responsible for the results. He receives praise for good work and blame for poor work. Next topic is measures to enrich the job. First, it gives sufficient freedom to the employees in deciding about work methods, pace, sequence, etc. Second, increase responsibility. Third, encourage participation. Fourth, provide feedback to the employees. Fifth, make the personnel understand how tasks contribute to a finished product of the enterprise. Sixth, management should provide adequate welfare measures to the employees. People should perceive that management is sincere and caring about them. Advantages of job enrichment. Job enrichment is a very useful technique to motivate employees. The advantages of job enrichment are, first, in the routine jobs, the employees find their jobs very boring and monotonous. The number of such employees is generally considerable. The frustration of these employees can be removed by making the job interesting with the help of job enrichment. Second, is job enrichment helps in reducing the rates of employee turnover and absenteeism. Third is job enrichment motivates the employees intrinsically by giving them opportunities for growth, advancement and self-realization. Fourth is task enforcement is made easy with the help of job enrichment and the skills of workers are increased. Fifth, the enriched jobs give more job satisfaction to the employees. Sixth, job enrichment is advantages to the organization as there is qualitative as well as quantitative improvement in output and there is higher satisfaction of the workers. Seventh is employees tend to be more creative when they work in an enriching context of complex and challenging jobs. Limitations of job enrichment are the first basic problem is that majority of workers do not want the type of changes which are introduced by job enrichment. They do not really want challenging jobs as the basic human tendency is to shirk responsibility. Workers put wages and job security above all. Second is job enrichment is basically limited to the unskilled and semi-skilled jobs. Jobs of highly skilled professionals already contain many challenging elements. As such, there is no scope of applying job enrichment in their cases. Third is technology may not permit the enrichment of all the jobs. With specialized machinery, tasks and processes, it may 
not be possible to make the jobs very meaningful. Fourth, job enrichment is a highly costly affair. In most of the cases, the cost involved is more than the gains in productivity. Fifth, sometimes the employees may prefer to have job enrichment, but may not have the necessary capabilities and qualifications to meet the new challenges. In the short run, job enrichment may have negative effects. After an increase in job responsibility, it is not unusual for organizations to experience a drop in productivity as workers become accustomed to the new systems. In the long run, however, there will be increased productivity. Seventh, people being bored in their jobs, it is likely therefore that after a period of time, they will become bored in their enriched jobs also. Thus, enrichment may become static after some time and additional enrichment will be required. Next is job enrichment and job enlargement. What is the difference between the two? First, the difference between job enrichment and job enlargement is essentially of quantity and quality. Whereas job enlargement means increasing the scope of job quantitatively by adding up more tasks, job enrichment means improvement in the quality of jobs such that employees are more satisfied and fulfilled. Second, through job enrichment, an employee finds satisfaction and contentment in his job and through job enlargement, employee feels more responsible and worthwhile in the organization. Third, job enrichment entails the functions of planning and organizing and enlargement involves execution of the same. Both complement each other in that job enrichment empowers and enlargement executes. Jo uh, fourth is job enrichment depends upon job enlargement for success and the reverse is not true. So I hope you understood the topic what job enrichment is all about. For more videos like this, please subscribe to Technia TV. Thank you so much.